Hey guys, this is Prowl1701, and today we are looking at Doctor Who, the collection, season 26. The uh, newest release in the Doctor Who Blu-ray collection range. Now, of course, this is Classic Who, my personal favorite. And this is Sylvester McCoy's first season released in the Doctor Who collection Blu-ray set. However, it is his third and final season as the Doctor. This is also the final season of Classic Who as well. But it's a good one. It's uh, probably my favorite season of the 80s in season 18. Uh, all four stories. There are only four stories in this one, but they're all good stories. Let's look at the packaging. The packaging, once again, is done by Lee Binding. And as always, it looks amazing. We have the kind of pink and magenta colors here with the teal mixing in right here, which is a great asteroid background reminiscent of his opening. And I absolutely love Sylvester McCoy's Doctor Who opening. And there he is with this... It's, it's weird to describe the look on his face, but it fits him perfectly. It's almost like he's going to smile, but he also looks serious at the same time. And it very much fits this season for him. He's wearing, of course, his dark coat that he, he started wearing in this season. Because his doctor really got darker in this season, more manipulative in his, his darker outfit, uh, his darker coat. And you can't see it, but the darker band around his hat kind of uh, signify that. And, of course, he's holding his trademark umbrella with the question mark handle that his doctor always carried and uh you can see the teal lettering right there you can see some of the villains there of course is the master from survival morgana from battlefield the uh, herbivore, uh herbivores from uh curse of fenric and i forget what this thing's called from ghost light ghost light's an odd one the destroyer from battlefield um here it is from the side looks good really nice and the back nice shot of battlefield where the the doctor almost loses control and smashes in the master the four episodes and then all the special features that we're not going to go over here uh but you can pause it and look at it if you want now this does have multiple versions of several stories like uh battlefield actually covers two discs and Curse of Fenric covers two discs because there's three versions of Battlefield and three versions of Curse of Fenric, one of which also has updated special effects. And then there's also uh, two versions of Ghost Light. One is a work print with uh, added in scenes, even though they're only low VHS quality, the added in scenes. Let's uh, pick out the J card. We can get a nice shot here. There we can see the villains better. That looks really good. Really nice. Lee Binding does great work with these. And I love this shot on the back right here. This is probably my favorite back shot so far. That looks really good. Uh, basically, it's from his his opening when the TARDIS first shows up with the asteroids, but it's uh, it's much more detailed uh, and brings kind of the open opening into modern times. It, it looks phenomenal. It's definitely my favorite back piece on one of these so far. Let's open it up. And we have a beautiful shot here from Curse of Fenric with the rain. The doctor standing there on the uh, herb herb herbivores. Was that it? I have something like that. They're basically vampires. Hemovores, maybe. I can't remember what they're called. It's been so long since I watched it. And that shot of survival from the back. And then, of course, we have the darkened TARDIS. The TARDIS isn't in much this season. I think it's only in, only in Battlefield, if I remember correctly. I think the set was not in good shape by this time. So we only see it at the, begin at the beginning of Battlefield. But that looks really nice. And, of course, we have our, our booklet with our beautiful art here. Nice picture. Battlefield. Battlefield pictures. Ghost Light. Ghost Light's an odd one. Ghost Light is an odd one. Um, I like Ghost Light, but it is a very unusual episode. It's hard to keep up with. Curse of Fenric could be one of my favorite Doctor Who episodes. It's, it's pretty good. I'm looking forward to seeing it again. I've never got to see the special edition of it, so I'm really excited about that with the enhanced special effects. But this season is definitely Sylvester McCoy at his best by far. He's so good in it. I believe that's Nick Parsons. He just passed away. Um, I think maybe today from when I'm recording this. Right after the set released, I believe he just passed. 
like 96. And of course, Survival, the final episode of the original series, which is great and has a fantastic speech. That's nice artwork. It has a fantastic speech by the Doctor at the end that closes it out that I uh, really enjoy. A nice shot of Sylvester on the back. And of course, we have the, the disc. We have this one of Battlefield. We have this two of Battlefield. And then we have Ghost Light, which I think is just this one disc. And then we have this one of Curse of Fenric. And the second disc of Curse of Fenric. That's some great artwork right there. And then we have uh, Survival. It's a nice shot of Sylvester. And then we have the bonus disc. And we have Sylvester McCoy from his opening. With his face kind of painted silver. I do love that opening though. The logo is a little wonky, but I do love the opening. And I love the theme arrangement from uh, McCoy's era. But yeah, this is definitely a nice addition to the uh, the box sets. I'm a big fan of them. I've gotten them all so far. Let's uh, get them all out here and have a look at them. Whew, I feel out of breath today. And this one is seven discs, so it's thicker than some of them, but not as thick as others. And here we are. Let's have a look there. All of them there together. Yeah, they, they look really nice together. Really, really nice together. Um, like I believe this one's six discs, this one's six discs, eight discs, eight discs, six discs, and seven discs. So, yep. John, so we've gotten season 10, season 12. I believe the re-release of this is, they haven't officially said, but a lot of us are speculating it's going to be around June-ish. So keep an eye out for the re-release of that because it'll probably sell quickly. And then, of course, we have season 18, season 19, season 23, and now season 26. And we know season 14, which is another Tom Baker one, which will go right there, will be out shortly. But I'm absolutely loving this range. Let's see how they they look all turned sideways with each other. I'm definitely a huge fan of these. They're very well done. They're kind of the creme de la creme. And I always recommend getting the uh, UK versions because the the North American releases just they just come in a standard Blu-ray thing. They don't have all the cool booklets and all that fun stuff. It's just better. And you can really import them for pretty much the same price. Yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? Maybe it's easier to stand them up like this. Although I have noticed the season 23 box set on the side looks a little out of place. Collins, because of the way the artwork is done here. Um, you see, all of these have clean shots of their heads with no enemies in it. But for some reason, even McCoy's is like that. But for Collins, uh, the shot feels a little more pulled out. That's why his head's a little higher than the others. And you can see some of the enemies there. And I'm glad I'm not OCD or that would bother me. But like some of my friends, if they had these... It would drive them nuts. But it does look pretty fantastic right there together. So, yeah. Doctor Who The Collection. Season 26. Check out my other channel, if you would. Prowl1701, where I review uh, a lot of Star Wars-related content, including uh, lightsaber replicas. And uh, click and subscribe the like button for here, in case you want to see more Doctor Who content. And most importantly... Thank you for watching.